Hello Forest fans and welcome back to Match Day with Max as the Reds face the Royals here tonight at the City Grounds. Look how fantastic the City Ground looks under floodlights tonight. I was at Burton on Saturday and I think if Eric Lee I didn't get sent off in the first 30 minutes we would have come out on top if we had 11 men and I think we would have won the game but there was positives to take from the game Ben Watson was excellent with the captain's armband and so was Tobias Figueredo who made his debut for the Reds and he was solid throughout the game and Danny Fox needs a mention too he was excellent holding that centre back role so let's hope we can get a win and score a goal because the last time we did that was against Bolton where we won 3-2 and that was on the 9th of December. So come on, you Reds. We're here with some Forest fans before the Reading game. It's a must-win game tonight, isn't it? Oh, very much so, because we're in a bit of a bad rut at the moment and um, we need a win for confidence, because if we don't get it tonight, and I, I don't know where it's going to come, to be honest. Do you think we can win then? I think we can, as, uh, as long as we put in a good committed performance, as Kavanka always says, but I have faith in the boys to win tonight. Yep, score prediction then? What, tonight? I'll, I'll go for 2-1. Uh, two nil. Come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds. Time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a nil nil draw against Burton. Ben, Wat ben Watson was excellent uh, in the captain's armband on, uh, on Saturday, wasn't he? He was. He showed the good leadership qualities that we need. He was. He was talking to the ref all the time about every decision, and rallied the boys when they needed to. And in the end, over an hour with ten men, it was a decent point. And do you think we're going to win today? Then we really need to win. Yeah, it's we? a big game. It's six pointer with them being 18th and us 17th. We we need to win. It'd be nice to get a goal because we haven't yeah. scored in a while. But uh, since, since Bolton in December. Yeah, actually, yeah. So. so we we need to get three points today, and hopefully we will. Score prediction then. We'll go for two nil. Come on, you Reds. So I'm joined by a player who has made 150 appearances for the Reds over a six-year spell, Guy Moosey. Yeah. Guy, when I first watched you, I was uh, I felt sorry for you because when you came onto the pitch, I actually thought the Forest fans were booing you. Instead, they were saying, Moose, Moose yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're looking very fit and well. Are you playing or training at the minute? Yeah, I keep training, but I'm not playing at the moment. I ain't got any team. So maybe hopefully I will be sold out, but in the same way, uh, I've got different things in my mind, so but I still keeping fit and training. Yeah. You were obviously at Burton on Saturday. You go to home yes. and away games. You obviously have a real love for the club, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love the club. You know, since day one, and uh, it's not something that I can hide. People know about it. But uh, yes, Burton wasn't that far. I'm not going that to that much away games, yes. but Burton was close. So yes, I travelled over there, and it was a, a good point yep. if we think about it. But we need a win, hopefully today. Forest have got a big squad at the moment. Yeah. Can you remember any of the young players that came through when you were at the club? Uh, I remember Joe Rowell, but he was still a young player. He, did, he didn't play with us, but I was there last season. I remember Mati Cash. Jamal, uh, Jamal, Jamal Lassell. Lassell. Well, in my time, yeah, Jamal Lassell, Carl Darlow. Uh, yeah, it was good, some, some, some good youngsters. And do you still keep in contact with Adlin and uh, Chris Cohen and people like that? Yes, of course. Uh, Chris Cohen, Adlin, uh, are still talking. But last, last game at Burton, I was with Joe Warren at the, in the, in the, in the stand. stand. So, yeah, yeah, I keep in touch with a lot of people. Even not so much the players, but as well the people, uh, you know, uh, in the in, in the administration and everything. Uh, so that's good, yeah. And you're obviously known for your generous donations to charities. Yeah. Are you involved with any charity projects at the um, moment? Yes, I've got a few projects in the sports. Um, in the in the sports wise, it will be launched really, really soon, and uh, that will help me to be able to um, to carry on my career, my my charities, which is. Uh, I want to develop education in Africa, in Cameroon particularly, because it's my uh, motherland. So hopefully some good news coming soon. Yeah. And Forest really need to win today. Are you confident then? Confident, man. You know, we're never confident in football, but I'm, I'm hoping really strongly that they're going to win today. So hopefully, yeah. Come on, you Reds, and thanks for your you time. You Reds, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Some changes to the Forest lineup after the 0-0 uh, draw against Burn. So here's the Forest team news. In goal for the Reds, Costal Pantinamon, Tobias Figueredo, Ben Osborne, Danny Fox, Lee Tomlin, Ben Burton, Jack, Jack Colbach, Kieran Dow, Joe Lolly, Tendai Dariqua, Ben Watson, the captains for this afternoon's game. Stefas the substitutes are Stefan Ascapino, Adeline Guadiura, Liam Bridcut, Barry Mackay, Matty Cash, Juan Fatinez and Andreas Buchalakis. Come on you Reds. <laughs>
So Forest fans were 1-0 down at half time. We looked uh, quite bright in the first half. Very disappointing though, as it, and then we switched off and it led to a Reading goal. We really need to win this game, it's a must-win game. Drastic changes needed at half-time. So Forest fans, it finished 1-1. Second half performance was much better, we deserved three points. The officials were a disgrace though, and it's beyond a joke. But we've really got to move on from this and get three points against QPR. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Max Max. Come on, you Reds!